At least 21 people, including 10 children, have been killed by a fire in a building in a densely populated refugee camp in the Gaza Strip. A local security official told the BBC an initial investigation suggested there was a gas leak from a kitchen. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas said there would be a day of mourning on Friday. Azeka Bakai reports. It took firefighters hours to get control of these bursting flames in Jabalia refugee camp in northern Gaza Strip. Nobody seems to know how it all happened. The civil defence and the police are now investigating in order to establish the reason of the fire. The civil defence team found 21 bodies and this is the total number of victims of this fire. Gaza's interior ministry said an initial investigation revealed that large amounts of petrol had been stored at the site, fueling the blaze that quickly engulfed the building. Residents were attending a party in this part of the Gaza Strip before the disaster struck. Some also caught the fire with their naked eye from a distance, but they could not help those inside because of the intensity of the fire. We were here at the shop, then we saw fire billowing from a window of the building. Then people started to call the firefighters. The fire had engulfed the whole building when the ambulances and the police arrived. Ambulances rushed several injured people to local hospitals. Israel, which together with Egypt maintained a blockade on Gaza, said it would allow those in need of medical treatment. The Palestinian president, Mahmoud Abbas, has called it a national tragedy and said there would be a day of mourning. Ikaba Kui, BBC News.